preparing for the worst, a quiet evening so far at the state capitol. Good evening, I'm Maggie Newland. And I'm Nick Sturdivant. Capitol and state police were out in full force, bracing for potential armed protest ahead of inauguration day. As CBS 17's Imani Payne reports, no one is letting their guard down yet. law enforcement agencies cover downtown Raleigh. Uh, it's uh, it's insane. It's a lot to take in. Uh, never seen anything like it before. Bracing for possible unrest leading up to inauguration day. Patrolling for armed protesters that ultimately never showed. Initially when I came down here, um, it was a little frightening to see all of the police, um, but I understand that they have a job to do. So, um, you know, it's just unfortunately what has to be done right now. Despite the empty streets, the FBI says protests in capital cities are still possible over the next few days. As a result, several county offices downtown remain closed through Wednesday. Many businesses are staying boarded up. People in town hope all the precautionary measures keep things peaceful in the coming days. I don't really know where in this country is really safe to be honest. You know, there's just so much going on. So yeah, I would just hope, you know, for that it doesn't get that bad. I mean, that that would be really scary. But you never know what could happen, you know. And that was Imani Payne reporting. Collectively, there are hundreds of law enforcement officers from multiple agencies scattered throughout downtown Raleigh. State and Capitol Police were standing watch on every side of the historic State Capitol building. A few blocks away, waist-high metal barricades wrapped around the old courthouse and the Wake County Justice Center. Both county and Raleigh city leaders are leaving nothing to chance, keeping downtown government buildings closed through Thursday.